Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon! Today, we need to get some information in order to progress with the plot. And this is the guy we need to talk to. Really? I never heard of that. What was that sound effect you just made? I mean, I'm guessing he, like, hiccuped or something? Sounds like there's another side effect in there, or er, sound effect in there, or side effect, you never know. Nuts. Wonder if he's the same guy we gave that stuff to earlier, back at Bale there. The spirits, or whatever it was. Hmm. I'm sure it's just a coincidence, but... Well, we gotta find a way to get to Prison Island. And in order to do that, we need to get back to... Uh, Lidiera. I forgot the name of the town because it's that insignificant. Other than the immediate plot. But anyway, if you go up here, we want to buy some new equipment to upgrade our party. So let's do that. Let's see. Is that Falcon or Falchion? I don't know how you pronounce it. But I do want to buy it. Well, I do want to buy it, but I don't want to equip it on Dart because most of the enemies in the next dungeon are weak to fire. So I want to keep the heat blade going. If you didn't get the bemusing arrow earlier, I would buy that for Shana now, but I already got it. Same thing with the Morning Star with Meru. Let's see, I need another set of plate mail. So let's give that to Albert there, if you're using him. Let's see, sparkle dresses, I want to get that all for the ladies. Now, when you see a piece of equipment like this that says whenever you're physically attacked or magically attacked, you accumulate SP, what that means is, well, once you suffer some, or get attacked by one of those, you get 20 SP out of it. So it helps you gain your Dragoon levels a little faster. It is nice. I would not equip certain equipment just for that. But it can be useful at times. Okay, so anyway, I want to buy another Night Helm. Do that. I probably should have given it to Albert there, but whatever. But anyway, so we got a couple of those going. And that's everything. Okay. Well, at least as far as the equipment goes. Oh, that's the same guy from the two shops. I don't know why he go does all that up there and... Instead of just having a one-stop shop, but... Okay, whatever works for you, buddy. But anyway, I do want to get a lot of items. And I want to clear a lot of inventory space because I'm going to be buying some new stuff and we're going to find a lot of new items. Let's see, I won that one night raid way earlier from one of those special monsters. I'm just going to sell that, but I still would recommend holding on to the one there. Let's see. I'll hold on to three dancing rays there. I thought I might need might have needed a third one against the previous boss, but that didn't happen. Okay, I think we're pretty good now. I want to buy a mind purifier. So let's do that. And I would also like to buy five burnouts. Okay. Hmm. I would like to have two more inventory slots available. If I can do that. Hmm. Let's see. What can I get rid of? I want the Moon Serenade for restoring some MP. Hmm. I need those Spinning Gales for later, too. Yeah, the Statue, I want to use that, too. Okay, screw it. I'll just leave my inventory alone, then. But anyway, we need to get back to Lydiaria, and we might run into some new enemies on the way back there. Particularly in this area between the Undersea Cavern and the village, there's a special enemy you could encounter here. Really, game? You're letting me get the encounter this easily? I have been trying for an hour! To find this guy without him running away from me. And once I give up, you hand him to me on a silver platter. Really? Okay, well, we gotta get into dragon form for this one.
The problem is that this enemy, the treasure jar, is immune to physical attacks. So we gotta use magic to take him out. So let's just go with whatever. It doesn't matter. You're always gonna deal one damage to him no matter what spell you use anyway. Just like all the other special monsters. Now, I think this is the first time I've ever used one of his spells. Like, I never use them. There's no point beyond these special monsters here. Okay, now, if it was Dark's turn, I would have him use... Uh, what is it? Transform into a Dragoon and deal more damage. But at this point, because Meru does not have a Dragoon form, I'm just going to have her throw the Magic Six Stone there. Because if I didn't, this guy would use a magic barrier that would block all magical damage to it. So, yeah, that would be really bad for us for trying to take him out. So, let's do that. And, you know, maybe I should have held on to one of those dancing raids or night raids or whatever there. So, Meru could actually damage these guys. Or this guy. But, apparently, that's not going to happen today. I'll need to rest up at the end before actually going into the next dungeon so I can restore my MP, but that's okay. Actually, you know, I, I don't, I, I wouldn't necessarily have to do that because I got that Moon Serenade that I'm going to be using later anyway. Well, this is the closest I've ever come to killing him. So, yeah, not bad, not bad. Maybe I could throw one of those... Uh, what were they? The Spinning Gales, because I've got a ton of those. And I could clear the inventory space. With Meru's turn, that is, I'm saying. You know, let's go for it. Let's see, Spinning Gale? Hmm. Yeah, let's go with that one. I can go, I'm not even going to bother boosting, it does not matter. I just want to get the one damage in and be done with it. Come on, Dart, get your turn. Or this guy could just not run away, that's fine, that's fine. As long as he doesn't run away, we're good. You see, originally what I was trying to do was meet up with this guy before... Yeah, let's use another Spinning Gale, I don't want to take a risk. I was going to meet up with this guy before doing all the weapon purchasing and items and all that, and then go back into town, get some stuff, and head on back to Lydiera. But I was trying for an hour trying to find the guy and not have him run away, and it was not happening. But we do get a ruby ring out of it. I have no idea what that does, but I'll check it out, sure. And I am definitely saving after that one. Holy cow. Totally not worth it, but it's there. I'll have to buy some more spinning gales later, but that's fine. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Be at the bottom there, or maybe not the bottom. Where is it? There it is. Okay, what do we do? Oh, okay. Not that I'm ever going to use it, but okay, it's there. Yeah, I've never gotten that thing before. I've never really gone out of my way to kill, well, most of these uh, special monsters anyway. But, well, you guys wanted me to show it off, so, well, I guess I got extraordinarily lucky there, finally. Okay, so, let's see. With uh, my equipment set up here, let's see, we're doing pretty good there. Pretty much the same thing for Dart there. If I had a Magician's or Magical Hat or whatever it's called, I would have equipped it on Dart, but I didn't. So, oh well. But anyway, let's see. With Hashel, same thing as before. Make sure he's got a Salad on. Same thing with Dart there, because some of the enemies can be a little evasive there. And let's see. Albert, let's get you on a Night Helm. Not that it really matters. And let's see, Mero, definitely keep on the physical ring, because some of the enemies here can hit pretty hard. Okay, so now let's pass through here and get back to Lydiera there, so that way we can try to find a way to get to Prison Island there.
However that works, I don't know. But it's essentially the same way we went the first time. Oh, and we get a little... I guess we're getting a little dialogue here that I forgot about. I don't know. You Maybe your stomach? Meru? Maybe she's just got a tummy ache. Oh, okay. Hmm. Then what is it doing here? Well, yeah, it's a freaking dragon. Well, sounds like a plan. Let's do it. I hope someone at the village knows what to do. Huh, no enemies this time around. That's strange. But, okay, whatever works. But anyway, I'll just tell you who we gotta talk to. We gotta talk to the mayor around here. He knows what's up. He's the guy, he's one of the guys that was on that... I don't know what the hell that thing's called. The Ocean Terrace or something? The platform in the middle where they're doing all the gambling. That's where we need to go. Maybe we could stay at Pete's house. Someone was saying, H.C. Bailey, if you talk to Pete again at the... Uh, what is it? The clinic there. You get some more dialogue from him. About he's, But when I checked it out... He just said, oh yeah, my mom's doing a little better. I want to be a doctor when I grow up, or something like that. And that's it. So, I, I don't know. Maybe there's another trigger to get some more amusing dialogue from it or something? But I don't know. Oh well. Sorry. Oh yeah, there's kind of all that water in the way. We're JRPG protagonists. We can't swim. Well, we did survive falling off the ship. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I just like how bluntly Dart puts that. Just like, matter of fact about it. It's dangerous to go alone. So we can save the world? No, no, I'll just tell you. It's about that much situation. You have to say, yeah, I want to see the monster, whatever. We want to take care of him. Or her. I suppose it could be a female dragon. I have no idea, really. I don't think it really matters in this game. It's a monster. It has to die. Oh. How'd you do that? Oh. Couldn't you, uh, I don't know, take a canoe around the cave or something? Oh, okay. Oh, that's a pretty big gate to do something like that. Oh, huh. How do you do something like that? Like, without modern machinery and things like that. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> well, at least he's being honest about it. Yeah, it's just a little gimmick. We could have actually gone over to the cave before and try to examine the door, but there's nothing we could do with it. I, I think Dart just says, Hey, how do we open this damn thing? Something like that. But anyway, yeah. He opens the cave there that has the switch. We flip the switch or whatever. And it'll lower the tide so we can actually get to the island in through... Or, yeah, through the undersea cave there. Now, this part tripped me up a little bit the first time I played the game. It's like, how are we supposed to get over there? Well, if we go to Pete's house... Yeah, there's a secret passage. Well, not really secret, but 
Yeah, I, I didn't notice how we were supposed to get over there. I thought we had to take the elevator or something or other to get over there. Well, on the bright side from using those spinning gales, at least now I have more inventory space. But anyway, oh yeah, those two items we got there. The healing fog is like an X potion. It restores all your HP to one party member. The healing rain item is like the healing breeze, but it restores all HP to all party members. So you want to save those for later. Mostly, I'm going to try and rely on the healing breezes there, because while well, they're easily buyable, healing rains, I don't think they're ever buyable. Although, if I recall correctly, what was it? Oh yeah, you could get, I think you could get them from one of the, from the mini games back at, what was that, Lohan there? Well, I'm going to have to go back there anyway to get more uh, spinning gales. Uh, let's see, yeah, good to the pier. So yeah, I mean, if you got, like, enough tickets from those games, I think you can actually get healing rains from there. I've never actually done that before, so I don't really know how all that works, but that is a way to get them. But otherwise, you can't, like, buy them at a store or anything like that. So if you got healing rains, you want to save them for an absolute dire situation. Usually, that won't happen to me, but... I hold on to them anyway, just because you never know. I mean, it's too good to use. Even if I'm at the final boss, final form, and, you know, I'm dying. No, I can't use it. I might need it later. Maybe there's post-game or something. But what do we find now in the undersea cave there? Find out next time on Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.